to understand why I found it not a commodity. I'd like to tell you my story. I was 16. Went on a school trip to South Africa. I went with girls my age and my uncle and his colleagues were looking after us. We stayed in a neat motel. The rooms, though, they weren't so good. Yet we didn't have to pay anything, because my uncle's business is going pretty well. And the girls and I were, we were helping him. We were put in a dark room. Men point a laser at the girl they liked. This is the new girls. You were assigned a number later on. My number was 58. You know what, some girls, they didn't survive to get a number. But I was lucky. I was slim. And the men, they usually went for curvier girls. But I still had to accept my fate, put on a brave smile, and be friendly, because if you weren't friendly, there were consequences. And those I, I did not want to face. But do you want to know the one thing that really got me after those three years of living there? That I was a number, 58. But I'm not a number. My, my name, my name's Emma. Human trafficking is happening right now. Human trafficking is real. Over one million children are trafficked every day. The fastest growing international crime. And this is why I've set up Not a Commodity. This is why I need your help. Because you could save those. I don't want another person in my position. Thank you.